What's up, guys? Hola, como esta? Ruby in. E2? Yo, como se dice? I'm not sure what that means, but I did it. Five year or five semesters of uh, Spanish, so. What's up with it? So, on today's episode of Brew Views with P Dog, we got another beer that was given to me. So, shout out Sam. When I was in Charlotte this last weekend, she said she liked it. She gave me one of her cans. I was like, fine, I'll try it. But apparently it's fruity. So we're gonna see how that goes. After we're done doing this, I'm gonna show two more beers on here. I ain't gonna try them because I already drank them and they'll get fucked up because I haven't ate since breakfast. So I ain't trying to get that drunk because um, I got shit to do tomorrow. But um, we're gonna get started, all right? Two beers at the end, you need to wait for those, all right? Those are, so well, I don't even think one's on the market yet. So like. I'm your boy. I'm 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 the hookup. Like I'm the plug. So the beer that was given to me, actually, Funky Buddha. Hell yeah! Obviously, already caught me with the name. The the can's dope. It sticks out, pops out. I mean, it's got sperm cells flying all over it. But I don't really know what that's about. But apparently, this is a this is called a Pineapple Beach. All right, a blonde ale with some pineapple added. So look at what it says. That is the dumbest shit. That's some shit I would put on a can. Yeah, it's got it in there. But. No shit. All right, let's see what this is about. It's crisp, tropical, and refreshing. My favorite, I love it. I mean, it's what Coors is, but it's fine. So, Funky Brewer Brewery is in Oakland Park, Florida. Am I about to get rowdy after this? Is that what, is this what they've been drinking down there? Cause shit gets crazy and weird down there. So, we need to calm down. I need my apartment to be intact in tomorrow. This is bullshit. Um. There's really nothing else on this can. I don't know what percent alcohol it is. Am I going to get drunk? What's what's going to happen with this? Fuck it. Anyway, you know what? I like taking chances. I like not knowing. That literally went all over the fucking place. Smells good. Smells like a fucking IPA. And I don't like those. So let's, let's, um, mm, not a good, not a good start to a good pour. It, it's fucking yellow. It's got pineapple in it. I'm an idiot. It's also a Blondale. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit too much head on that, but it's fine. Never say no to too much head. All right. Let's give it a shot. Light the color. I mean, you can't see through this, but we're going to see what it's about. Because I like, I mean, I like Blondales. So. That's pretty fucking good right there. That's banging. I don't know how much this shit is or like what kind of package it comes in. I have no idea. But I drink this shit again. This shit's good. Son, this is where it's at. Boy, this shit is good as hell. 5% alcohol found it. This shit is good as hell, man. Holy hell. Funky Buddha, guys. If you see this, y'all need to try because this shit is banging right now. This shit's going to go down easy. Son. Wow. That's, that's, that's dangerous. I don't even like, I don't even know how to describe it. That's, you can taste the pineapple in it. Like a little bit. Like not a lot, but you can taste it. I'm sorry, it tastes like somebody took a beer and was like, oh, let's put juice in it. That's pretty much what it tastes like. But it's good. Like in a good way. Like. Not a bad way, but a good one. Like a like a BN way. So what do I think of this? Aside from the fact that there's sperm cells flying around coming out of the sun, which is a pineapple, it's pretty fucking good. As you can tell, it's gone. So I enjoyed it. I liked it. You know, it's going up there. Like it, it gets, it gets, it's going to be in the high eights. I'm giving it 8.6. Cause it's fucking balling and it reminds me of Coors cause it's light and I could drink a lot of these and get just completely blitzed and like not even regret it. I'm not, I won't even be mad about it. In the summertime, this is going to happen. Samantha, you're buying me some of these cause I don't know where you got them from and you didn't tell me and I don't know how much they were and see the way my bank account works. Urgh! So I'm going to need some more of those. All right. I'm going to need more. I can't cheers you off with the with the beer tonight because, like I said, I inhaled that motherfucker. All right, I I sucked it down, son. What's up? That's dirty as fuck saying like that, but 
I sucked it down. I inhaled that bitch. Over the summer, it's game over. All right, it is game over. So there you go. That's the rating on this beer. All right, and like I said, I got two more beers. Now I wanna, I wanna show everybody. All right, we got a new Takati. All right, Takati Platinum. Okay, look at that. Ain't that a dope ass can? That shit's cool as hell. This is a Takati with a fruity touch and aroma and in flavor. And I'm gonna lie to you, it does. Tastes like a Takati, but better. That's what it is. Oh, let me take that back. About around here is when it gets good. First part, you got to get used to it a little bit. But the aftertaste is banging. So no matter what, no matter what part of the can you're in, the aftertaste is pretty good. So if you see it, buy it. 24 ounce can, I don't know how much. I think it's like $1.59. I don't know. That's usually what Takati is, I think, or two oh nine. I don't know. There's a difference. But um, the second one, Sweetwater. This is their newest one coming out. I don't even know this is this one's out yet, honestly. I don't even know. Peach, Love, and Happiness. This is a sour beer, and I don't like sour beers, but I I drank this, and I was like hooked. I was like, this shit's good. It's like, it's weird, because you take a sip, don't taste sour at first, and bam, it hits you, and then it goes back down again. It's crazy. It's wild as shit. I don't like, some of those sour beers taste like complete ass, all right? It's just fucking terrible. This is a, a Berliner, it's something, I think it's Russian, or no, German? I don't know. Anyway, Sweetwater brews all their shit in hemp, too, so it smells like weed, so like... What's up with it? Like, you know, it's got, it's uh, the Berlin and Weiss thing with peach and natural flavors. This is a catch and release seasonal. What a dope ass way to put that. So be on the lookout for that with the fishy and the Bodie flying through the sky with a peachy. I mean, it's pretty fucking balling. So um, dope ass can, great flavor. Like I said, it's a sour, so, but it's not like crazy sour. It's not like a fucking Sour Patch Kid. Might be, I don't know. Um, but be on the lookout for that too. So those two beers, both of those are great, all right? As far as the Takati goes, I mean, I don't, I'm not trying to rate them, but, because I didn't just drink them right now, but I would go out and try both of them. I do recommend them, but guys, that's it. That's all you get for the day, all right? You get your little sperm cell covered can, taste testing, and you get the Takati and the sweet water. Game over, all right? 8.6, that's what you get today. Guys, have a great weekend. I'll be in Asheville. And the next week, I'll be in Charleston. This shit's crazy. So get another one Thursday night. Um, guys, cheers. You know, hasta luego.